Hello, Internet family. It is so late and I am so tired and obviously not very well put together, but I just got in a brand new advent calendar and I'm so excited that I needed to just go ahead and get this film. Everyone in the house is asleep. If you hear a little snoring in the background, just ignore it. It's not really a bear. Even if it sounds like one. I'm doing something a little different. I am going to start looking into purchasing various advent calendars from fiber artisans, people who dye yarns. And I'm actually looking for, you know, I guess I don't necessarily have to be local in the sense of in my neighborhood, even though I understand we have a couple of those here about where I live. And that's something I'm definitely going to look into. But I mean, in terms of the US and maybe if there's different people from different parts of the world who do beautiful work, or it's just interesting for one reason or another, offering some kind of a interesting box or advent calendar. So basically what I want to do is, and I'm really think I'm going to start this project with this particular advent calendar is start highlighting individuals who are not big corporations, but rather small business sorts, people who do this for the love and the passion of it. And of course, the art and craft of the thing. Hi, my name is Sig. This is Essential Crochet and you, of course, are always welcomed here. If you like what you see or want to see more of it, please hit the subscribe button. That's always helpful in terms of allowing me to continue to make regular videos. The like button just tells the algorithm that there is engagement in the channel and so that smiles favorably upon me. And then also the notification bell. This is going to allow you to be notified each time I put out a brand new video. Okay, let's just go ahead and get started with this fantastic find of mine, I think. I don't really know yet. We're just going to have to go ahead and dig into this box and see what it is that I purchased. So which shop did I choose this time around? I chose a shop by the name of The Little Foxes. The owner of the shop is Gina Marquise. Um, she's, I located her on Etsy. This is probably where I'll locate most of the people that I review. And then Williamsburg, Virginia is where she's from. Now this particular set is called the Floral Year, a four sock set advent calendar. Uh, each set of sock yarn is inspired by a different season of the year. So this is kind of new. Uh, everything's a complete mystery. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of crossing my fingers and my toes on this one. But she goes on to say, the holiday seasons may not be upon us yet, but that shouldn't stop us from thinking about it. Spending time with loved ones, decorating together and eating lots of sweets are just a few of the things that make holidays delightful. This year, surprise a loved one or yourself, I won't tell, with a mystery advent of yarn inspired by the seasons and the wonderful colors associated with each. Expect to receive tonal variegated and speckled colorways that will keep you merry and bright for the next year to come. All colorways will be new, previously unreleased colorways. Labeled in order, each sock set will be opened on the four Sundays of December or any day of the week you'd like. Mystery Advent will include four sock sets comprised of one full skein, 100 grams, plus one mini skein, 20 grams of 85% superwash merino wool and 15% nylon sock weight yarn. Extra surprise goodie included. Uh, beginning, so she says that the, that the, Items will be sent out, oh, the end of October, the beginning of November. And then, of course, she goes on to give us more information about the actual materials in the sock yarn itself. Here for the 100 grams and then also the 20 grams are pretty much the same. So 
as you can see, I got the box, right? I did open the box, but I did not look, well, I mean, I looked in the box, but I didn't open anything. I am saving this for you and me, so you can see. Okay. So in this box, she gives me a little gift, a little thank you gift, basically, for purchasing her advent calendar. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that first. So you got a nice little linen pouch, it looks like. And then these look like little little tags. Oh, look, you can see where they they match up with each of the four weeks or four seasons of the year for which this calendar is pretty much based off of. So that was clever. And you know, I'm not like huge into stickers or anything like that, but what makes these nice are their little tags. So I can use these on letters. I can use them as like a label on a gift. So that's nice. That works out just fine. Oh, and then it appears that she has given me some stitch markers. So these are possibly, you know, maybe roses. Anyways, it kind of has a little bit of a Victorian feel to it. And then these little guys, I wonder if she made these by hand. I wouldn't be surprised. And they're just real simple little stitch markers that are painted in the colors that I am guessing each week's colorway is going to be based off of. Or at least it looks like it's possible. At least three of the colors, maybe. But I guess we won't know until I actually start opening up these packages. So let me go ahead and just set these aside. So week one of the advent calendar, because as mentioned before, it is a four week advent calendar, which makes sense in this case because this is sock yarn. And really, you're purchasing this and encouraged to oh make a pair of socks with the yarn and of course she gives you enough yarn to make a pair of socks with i'm going to get 100 grams of a large skein and then 20 grams of the small skein so let's go ahead and see what this looks like for week one the azaleas Oh wow, isn't that pretty? Look at that subtle, subtle yarn. These for the the hundred grams of the yarn. That is really nice. And then that really does actually remind me of Azalea's. The color is beautiful. I really like how it's sort of subtle, but also you got little touches of boldness in there. And then, of course, azaleas. You can't have azaleas without the super bright green foliage. So that's going to be really interesting to see what comes with that. I'm excited to see what, what I make with this. Now, this set does not come with patterns, and I'm guessing it probably wouldn't do me a lot of good anyways because, well... They would probably be knitting patterns and not crochet patterns. However, let's see in the coming weeks what I managed to pull off with this little beauty. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. This is week two. Week two is hydrangeas. Now, I really like the way that the tissue paper matches. So week one with the azaleas was a pink rose victorian print now week two it's the same exact print and then of course these colors coincide with the season as well so that's pretty nice at least it's thoughtful i like the cohesion i like the the thought behind it Ooh, that is really nice I really like this deep, sagey look. 
and then this nice deeper but muted purples and greens wow this is just really right up my alley this was such a good pick for me the hydrangeas how beautiful the yarn predictably is soft it's nice uh so far i'm not seeing anything about the dyeing that this artist has done that makes me even second guess what I purchased this for. And we'll discuss that at the end of this video. Week three are mums. Again, the same print of tissue paper, except in this beautiful brown, sort of light brownish, almost tawny color. Ooh, now this is definitely gives me those autumn vibes. This is very nice. This colorway really. Now I'm not going to say it reminds me of pumpkins because it really doesn't. But what it does do is remind me of like late summer squash or winter squash, if you like. And color is very nice and it's very subtle. I'm really, I'm really pleased with it. The contrast between the two skeins is not really, not really a big contrast at all. In fact, the, the hues are, are very, or rather I shouldn't say, well, the hue is pretty, is pretty consistent, but between the two of them, but really the, the value is very close together. In other words, there's not a lot of contrast happening between these two colorways. And I think that, that that's really interesting. I think I like it. Um, it gives me, it gives me different things to think about in terms of what design pattern I might choose to use, or quite frankly though too, just the, the dye pattern of the larger skein might be enough to add just enough of that lovely subtle contrast to make things pop a little bit i don't know we're just gonna have to see what happens with these but i really really like the colorway it's it's subtle and um and i think it's really interesting so i'm excited to to see what i come up with for this and then here for week four winterberry again the same kind of victorian french province kind of print as with the other ones but this one is in black let's see what we get for the winterberry colorway Ooh, this this one really does speak to me i am this is so nice, you know, very, very unexpected. Um, this dyer to me seems to have a real subtle hands with the colors that she chooses. And I am far from mad about that. I think that it is just lovely. And I just cannot wait to see what happens. And in fact, I think this winterberry is actually my favorite colorway combination. I might change my mind once everything is worked up but boy this what a beautiful combination wow i am so glad i decided to go ahead and give gina a try i mean all you're given are various images of inspiration for the colorway she will be using but you don't have an idea it's all a mystery it's all a um well, yeah, you're just really taking your chances. So let me put these all together. This is just gorgeous. So what do I think of these? Oh, these are so much better than I expected. I just, I didn't know what I was going to expect. But when you purchase yarn like this, especially in an advent calendar, you really take in your chances. And typically when the yarn looks decent or nice, it's always exciting. And it's like a big it's like a big shrew moment, you know, it's take a deep breath because these things are usually quite expensive. And so to be unhappy with it is really, 
is really something you don't want to have to experience. But these yarns, these colorways are so beyond what I imagined they would be. They're so much nicer than I expected. And um and yeah, I just I just don't know why her advent calendars just weren't selling out as quickly as some of the other ones that I saw. But I had a good feeling about her and boy, I'm glad I went with that feeling. Okay, so typically if I was going to purchase one of these sets from her, one of these red fox socks sets, I would get it in a nice little box with the season on it, you know, the inspiration and all that good stuff. I would pay about $50 for one of these. And that may sound a little expensive, and for a lot of us, it can be pretty expensive. But boy, you know, you get quality yarn and you have a quality dye job. Somebody who just does beautiful work and gets the colors just right. I mean, she really did a fantastic job. $50, why on the expensive side? You know, it just is what it is. Sometimes you just have to pay a little extra money for quality. Quality over quantity, right? I know how much yarn a person can get for $50 at a sale at like a hobby store. I get that. I'm, I'm there with you. I've got a studio full of yarn that I got at great prices at various hobby stores. But boy, there is just nothing that compares to a beautiful hand-dyed natural fiber yarn. Okay, so let me get back on point here. So this, this is going to be $50 for one set. Now, buying all four sets in the advent calendar with shipping, because I got a little bit of a discount when I purchased um, through Etsy. I think it was like 10% or something like that. I paid $150, and so that was with shipping for all four of these skeins, or rather these sets. So that was basically a savings of $50 off what would be her normal price. Now, she has lots of other yarn in her shop, too, that she sells. It's, that's cheaper. I think you can get yourself a 100 grams of a beautiful sock weight or DK yarn or whatever other kind of yarn she sells that she dyes for about 30-ish dollars. So that's that's about a going rate for for those of you out there who who just who just don't know what hand dyed decent quality fiber yarn goes for. It's it just it really isn't cheap, but it's so it's so worth the extra effort if you can manage to swing it. Okay, um, yeah, I I think this company was a hit. I am really impressed with what I got. This is my favorite colorway. Mention in the comments below which colorway was your favorite. Was it the spring, the azaleas, or the hydrangea for summer? Was it the mums for autumn? Or was it the winter berries for winter? And then, of course, if you're just a quick reminder, if you are interested in seeing what kind of creations I come up with these yarns, you know, just just stick around and keep an eye out because in the next few weeks, I hope to have a sock pattern. Maybe there'll all be sock patterns. I don't know exactly yet, but I will come up with patterns for each one of these and I will post them on this channel as, as a tutorial. So yeah, again, over the next few weeks, I will actually be working these up and I will put out tutorials for whatever I choose to make with these. Okay, everybody, you have a great week. We're coming on the holidays. Stay safe and I will see you soon. Bye-bye now.